Big story at 11 o'clock, a confrontation just feet from the inner harbor turns deadly. Police say a driver confronted a squeegee worker with a baseball bat, and that man opened fire. And tonight, he... I've told you guys wow. about these squeegee boys. Have you been? Have you guys ever seen a video where I've done about the squeegee boys in Baltimore? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're fucking nuisance. They're like the water boys in Atlanta. You know about the water boys in Atlanta, right? They're just yeah. fucking pieces of shit. Fucking thugs that just fucking... They'll come up, spray your window with this fucking fluid yeah. and some shit, start wiping it, and then demand money come from knock, you. Come knock on your window with their fucking squeegee. Demand yeah. it. I tried to hand one of them boys a bag of Kit, Kat, Kit Kats. And uh, I don't I don't know what what happened. I would have got the squabbling, but the people next uh, in the car next to me, I guess they were woke. They were like, "Oh, don't even worry about that. Come over here and wash our windows." Like my the inside of my car is dirty as shit. That's the problem. Yeah, they 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 extortionists, man, and they do it in broad daylight. We right. worker with a baseball bat, and that man opened fire. And tonight he is still on the run. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. This unfolded this afternoon at one of the busiest intersections in the city. And tonight, police still gathering information to figure out exactly what happened. And WJZ live at Light and Conway Streets, the scene, which was also near Camden Yards Man. on a busy night. Christina Mendez has been on top of this story from the very start. Christina, what are you learning at this hour? Vic and Rick tonight, police are still searching for the squeegee workers who were standing at this intersection and chose to run away after sh this shooting happened here. The victim was left here to die, but police are hopeful that the many witnesses that were standing here and also security camera footage in the area will help lead to the person who pulled the trigger. Male shot, light and hallway. This is the evidence left behind, weaving together pieces of what went down feet from the inner harbor. I saw the bat lying in the street uh, behind me and the, the blood. Baltimore police say a shooting here stems from a heated interaction between a driver and a squeegee worker. Investigators believe afterward, the 48-year-old driver parked his car across the intersection, grabbed a baseball bat, and walked back toward the group. The information that we have right now is that he swung the bat at one or more of those squeegee workers. In return, one of the squeegee workers pulled out a gun and fired, striking this male. Why is he calling them workers? Squeegee workers. Because they, I get into that. It's oh, a whole yeah. Thing. Like they, they, they're trying to like make it legitimize it. Yeah, exactly. And they're doing a lot there to fucking like they're bending over backwards for these guys. One of the squeegee workers pulled out a gun and fired, striking this male victim. Police say the group of squeegee workers ran off while the victim died at the hospital. Jolene Allen lives in the apartment right outside the scene. She says the squeegee workers are almost always stationed at Light and Conway, a major artery in the city. It's nonstop. It's a constant source of distress for not only people who live right here, but people who come to visit the city. Councilman Eric Costello echoes those same concerns. The scene sits in his district. In a statement, Costello says, quote, as a government, we have failed everyone here by allowing these circumstances to continue. Just hours before the killing, the councilman says a squeegee worker was arrested at the same intersection for possession of a firearm. It's disheartening because I love the city and it's a great city, but we need to get this under control. So it ain't a great a security city. Security camera video, or if you have a cell phone video of the moments leading up to the shooting or any moments leading up afterward, please contact police. They'll want to talk to you. I'm reporting live from downtown Baltimore tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. Yeah. I've been getting paid a thousand dollars a month, if not more. They're, they're, the little squeegee boys are fucking um they got they got they got the, that woke city by the balls now. And they really didn't have to do anything. It just, they just, just being sun men. They've, um, they've, they've, um, they infiltrated um, a hobo's job, like homeless people's jobs. How the fuck? That? You know, people know them as squeegee boys, but the city of Baltimore is changing their name and launching a new employment opportunities to kind of get them off the street corners. And for the first time in two years, WMAR2 News Abby Isaacs is in our studio tonight to explain this to us. Abby. Well, Jamie and Kelly, with the Board of Estimates authorization today, the city enters into an agreement with a private company to help employ some of these teens. You say, wow. It's a question a lot of people ask. There's good money out here. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think that we don't be doing too much. But we'd be out here. we make a couple dollars. But squeegee boys are getting... 
I'm sorry, but I'm so sick of them damn masks. I'm so sorry. I'm sick of them damn masks. Yeah, so let's, mask. talk about, let's talk about what's under the mask. Like this is this is what this is what will run up to your car, spray your window with something, wipe it off, and then come bang on your window and demand some money. Because when he says they make good money, he said people don't think we make a lot out there. They they extort these people, and this is downtown, so this is not in the hood where they're gonna somebody gonna blow their head off or so they're gonna run up on some some you know some real gangsters and they know they can't really pull that shit with them. They're preying on the tourists and the people downtown working, the working class people and the tourists. It's good money this out here. A lot of people don't mm. know that. A lot of people think that we don't be doing too much, but we be out here we make a couple of dollars. But squeegee boys are getting a new name. The city now calling them disconnected youth that squeegee. I want to know why. Disconnected youth that squeegee. Man, their lives got better the minute that name changed. I guarantee it. Disconnected youth that squeegee. AP listener, you still in here? I'm Dis still here. Disconnected youth that squeegee. Dites. So it's disconnected youth that steal cars. <laughs> disconnected is, youth that murder. This is just as ridiculous as let's call them vertically challenged instead of, you know, uh, you know, dwarfism or whatever, the scientific name because oh, it might hurt their feelings. I figure vertically challenged makes them worse mm. ridiculous mm. 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 disconnected wow. youth <laughs> that squeegee <laughs> this. but squeegee boys are getting a new name the city now calling them disconnected youth that squeegee sounds like a rap Why name call it disconnected like what are we disconnected from i don't know like he he don't order. even understand. He don't even understand. He like, what do you mean? We, we ain't disconnected, motherfucker. I go anywhere I want. This motherfucker can do it. There's nothing this guy, like, he knows. He can go anywhere, do anything, say anything. He, he can go in the store, steal something. He can run from a cop. If the cop can't, like, he knows. He doesn't feel disconnected. He, he actually is offended by the thought. Connected. Like, what are we disconnected from? I don't know. It was included in the mayor's administration's proposal for an agreement with Canopy Hilton Hotel in Harbor East to give disconnected youth that squeegee jobs in hospitality there. Two cohorts of 10 youth will be hired for a 13 week period and paid $15 an hour. They'll get three weeks of workforce training from the city as well as a mentor. Since the 1980s, Baltimore. You heard him? Cash oh my God. Oh. Cash up the Venmo. They extort these people. They extort these. There's a thousand videos on here on YouTube of them assaulting people. I ain't even getting to that. Like you already know what time it is. Like because if they're doing, if there's a hundred of them down there doing this all day every day, you can just imagine. Like you know what I'm saying? What goes on? Well, as a mentor, you gotta cash up the Venmo. Since the 1980s, Baltimore has grappled with persistent youth panhandling. Specifically, those that participate in freelance windshield washing at high traffic intersections. City officials say for the last few years, they've been working to develop a support model for disrupting environments that encourage squeegee activity. The latest effort, launching this employer coalition. The Canopy Hilton Hotel is the first of what they hope will be many partners to employ the teams. Squeegee boys like this young man, who goes by five, said he'd take the opportunity if it came. But he's not optimistic. A lot of people say they're going to do this and do that. I mean, there was a couple programs that, that, that really came out and helped us out. Like, it was like jobs for like the summertime. Others who interact with the teens all the time. They very respectful. Question the specificity of the program. I think it shouldn't be only for the squeezy boys. It should be for other young boys that's out here or need a job. And I think the city need to help everybody, not just them. Listen when you're women. when your community is criminal, criminal becomes normal. They got to listen to these women. <laughs> they had, they got to. <sighs> <laughs> but 
see, when they have programs like this, this goes against all the lies that they keep putting out. There is discrimination, racism, no opportunities. Uh, the man is holding us down. You know, it's like, what's your excuse? The problem with these jobs is you actually have to, like, show up on time and you can't just leave when you want to. Remember, th those are those are pillars of whiteness in society. Right. You have to have some sort of responsibility. These young guys. I don't know, man. What I always say, no solution, no solution. Yeah, you think they're paying their taxes? No, no. That's and I love love. Up. I love how they call them freelance window washers, like there's organized window washers for car <laughs> windows. <laughs> yeah, it's called Wear being a detailer. Wearing little bellhop uniforms. Yeah, it's yeah, called being a detailer at a car wash. Right. <laughs> hey, they're entrepreneurs. They're looking out for themselves. And see, if they were organized and actually having a business doing this, I would respect them. But when you go up there to your car, the person's car, and you're harassing people, pulling guns out on people, that that's not um, that's not legitimate. You can't just. And to start, you, you motherfuckers be spraying people's windshields with straight water, not even like windshield wipe or nothing. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Probably piss. It probably a bottle full of piss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. they know exactly who to, who to target they know who to go after they know exactly where to post up they know they that's what I'm saying they know they're, they're it happened they, they it happened to me sport. happened to me see, see that was the thing I, I have a, a diverse quote unquote group of friends so I'm the only black dude I'm driving the car and it's like my Spanish dudes my uh my right and then two bladder chicks in the back and then another bladder dude in the back. And we're all going to the Baltimore Aquarium. And there's another car behind us full of people, too. And he's just sitting in this building underneath, like, the awning or, like, the opening. And, like, I just looked over talking to my homeboy. And we made eye contact. And as soon as he did, like, I seen his whole outfit. I knew his whole profile. I was just like, fuck. I looked down. I was like, god damn it, y'all. Just try to chill for a second. And he walked over and did everything. And it came up my window like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? Oh, just try to hand him a bag of Kit Kats. And that was that. But he, yeah, he was getting aggressive, though. That was that's what got me. It's like, bro, you really just try to scam me. How aggressive. But also, too, why does this like, city keep like, allowing me to do this at a stoplight? They're at a stoplight. Well, that's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, aggressive, like. He, he walked up to my window the first time and like just stood there and I stared at him and then he was like, like knocked on it with his hand and I was like, okay. And then that's when he, uh, he came back the third time and he knocked on my window with the squeegee. And that's when I reached out, I rolled my window down and like balled my fist up and grabbed this bag of Kit Kats that I was snacking on. And I like kind of punched it at him and I reached for my door handle at the same time, the people car in the car next to me. In this big white escalator, they're like, "Oh, don't even worry about that, bro. You can come wash our windows, man. He's tripping." Like, fuck that, y'all. Y'all all crazy. Y'all can all get fucking. Y'all can all get fucked. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about the stories I I've had in Baltimore. And it's not even that crazy to what they they experience out there, but yeah, that place is a shit hole. And that's the good part of town. Right. Used this to is be. in the good part of town. Bro, when this happened, this was back in like 2013. Like, it was already fucked. I only passed through Baltimore, um, like on a, a Greyhound bus. I, never, I, never, I can't remember ever stopping in Baltimore. Maybe uh, DC, close to it was like the DC, uh, the DC bus station. And that uh, was it. But yeah. Union Station? Yeah. A couple, yeah. a few times, I, a few times I've ridden the bus or, or like Amtrak by myself. Um, yeah, when, I, when I was a, when I was a, t you know, when I was a teenager, but uh, I don't think I've ever been to Baltimore. Yeah, not worth your time. Not worth your time. 